Hi, Hiram here. Last week I did a uh, oil test on this Reddick Civil Defense Corps alcohol stove. This is something that I saw way back when I was a kid. Saw it in a fallout shelter and I'd always been fascinated by it. And I just recently bought this one on eBay to add to my collection of stoves and stuff. In that test, I was rather, I can easily say I was rather disappointed. I only put, but the problem was I only put four fluid ounces of methanol in this. And I think looking back on it that most of it was locked up in the ceramic insert here. Uh, I got water starting at 60 degrees up to 110 degrees and then it ran out. So again, I think what happened was just only putting four fluid ounces in on a totally dry stove just didn't work. So what I've done today is I've saturated this thing with, it looked like almost 12 ounces of methanol. Sorry to interrupt this broadcast, but I wanted to let you know that at the time, I thought there was 12 fluid ounces of methanol in the stove, but because of how long it ran, I figured I'd better do a weight test of starting and ending weights, and I figured that there was closer to 16 fluid ounces of methanol. You'll see at the end of this video just how long those 16 fluid ounces burned. And I'm going to do another test today. But first what I want to show you is how this vent hole on the side really does affect this. Now there's that putting. Remember I said in the instructions it says if the stove putt putts, hopefully you can see this, if not I'll I'll go to camera two, you can see it on that. You can see it putt putt putting. What you got to do then is blow some air into this tube and it burns for you. So you get a nice flame, but I don't know. So here's what happens. if You, you can regulate this vent hole with the cork that goes in it, the rubber stopper rather, but I'll do it with my finger. See how the flame dies down to almost nothing? It's still burning. Then as I open the hole, now it goes back to the putt putting. You gotta wave a little air in there, and then it goes again. So you can regulate the flame by how much air gets in the hole. Now stopping the hole up completely doesn't shut it off. You end up having to blow it out. So I think that's a problem with the stove, this putt putting all the time. It needs air going in there. So, like I said, I've saturated this. Now I'll have to end up putting a little bit more alcohol in here for the test to see what it does. But I'm gonna, I saturated it, and I'm gonna do another boil test on this. Oops, long switch. So I'll put this out, I'll put some oil in. And I'll put the stove back together and we'll be back for a test. Okay, so I've refilled this with alcohol. There's some standing out methanol, rather, in the bottom of this stove. So that's why I have it in this tray in case it expands and wants to push out. Two cups of water sitting at 60 degrees. Let's light this. Okay, there we got our putt putting again. So just give it a little fan put the stove on, the pot stand rather, which I think this is another part that might be wrong with this stove, but I'll talk about that a little later. So two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, and let's see what it does this time. There we have 210. To 11. Wow, is this a disappointment, but at least maybe it's going to get to a boil. Come on. Come on. Someday. To twelve in sixteen minutes. 47 seconds. 
Wow. Okay, so that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Got to a boil finally in 16 minutes, 47 seconds. I think you can see the flames are quite yellow. I don't know, since this is the only one I've ever had and it's been used, I don't know if this is normal for this stove, the Reddick stove. But, uh, and I also don't know if something else has been burned in this. You're not supposed to use anything other than denatured alcohol or methanol. But if somebody stuck uh, ethanol or something like that in here, maybe that's why it's yellow. Um, boy, this is a real disappointment. Uh, thinking back on this, I do remember thinking, wow, there were cans and cans and cans of alcohol with these stoves that were in the one fallout shelter that I saw. And I thought, just how long are they planning on people staying in here? I think maybe it's because they saw how much alcohol this thing pigs out on. <laughs> I wonder if this stove is a government job. There's so many things. Uh, wow. I guess it's still going to keep running. But, I don't know if I can show you here. This, let me turn the light back on. So many things wrong with this. The distance between the top of the burner to the bottom of the pot is two and an eighth inches. That's like over double the sweet spot distance of one inch. Also, is this hot? Not real hot. The flames <clears throat> fall on this cross piece, which acts as just one big huge heat sink, sucking the heat away from the bottom of the pot. I've seen pictures of other stoves where they've changed this. They put like a concentration uh, tube in the middle of this, and these legs are cut off. They only stick out maybe this far. So I wondered why they changed it, but I guess that's why, because this thing, it's so slow, and then it sucks up the heat in the pot stand. Okay, it's still burning. See how it, hope you can see on this camera. It, all the flames are falling right on that center of the cross piece. Can you see that? So all in all, I'm very disappointed in this stove. And like I said on the other video, I think this is what started me on my Freudian playing with alcohol stoves all the time because I remembered this from my youth. There is one other test I guess I could do. I have to agree with uh, John Ammerman. Ammerman? He had said, and I was I had made one up, he had said put a hardware cloth stand on here, take this part off and just use this, and see what kind of a boil time we could get with that. I guess, I'll, I'll do that if I'm not going to bore everybody to death, but I guess these things are nothing but a collector's item. As far as actually using it, in a cabin or a tent, it's just a, so far it's just a real waste of alcohol. I may have to rethink my waste of alcohol statement. As you can see in this sped up footage I made of the stove uh, running out the burn, it took four hours, 16 minutes, 32 seconds to burn through the 16 fluid ounces of methanol. That's about 16 minutes per fluid ounce. The Mini Trangia, on the other hand, took 27 minutes, 50 seconds to burn through three and a quarter fluid ounces. That's about eight minutes per fluid ounce. Maybe this stove is just really slow. Okay, well, I thank John for his comment. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.